what I have here is a snapper riding lawnmower that the hydrostatic transmission uh, it's having some problems and basically the problems that it's having is it's very noisy it, it whines and it, it lacks power um, specifically on little hills uh, the lawnmower has has a hard time getting up little slopes uh, sometimes the reverse works, sometimes it doesn't work, but it's definitely noisier than it should be. And they say when they start making a lot of noise like that, that that is the pump cavitating inside that transmission. I've already purged the system um, according to the procedures, but that doesn't, it, it helped. Purging the system helped temporarily, but I definitely think that we have a problem with the pump inside the hydrostatic transmission so let's take a look gonna have to get this transmission out of here try to do it the quickest easiest way possible looks like I need to get a half inch possibly a nine sixteenths a couple set of wrenches and we'll see how we do here and jack this thing up All right, I have it jacked up. I'm going to go ahead and start on this side here. And there's four half-inch bolts. There's two on this side and two on this side you need to remove. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Well, second thing. Jacking it up was the first thing. Got to watch this little guy. He'll sneak up on you. And the other side. So these are the bolts that she'll be taking out, what I'm taking out first. Uh, these two bolts here. And there's identical ones on the other side here. One and two, and I've already removed the nuts. See what I mean? So these hydrostatic transmissions are uh, all removed fairly similarly. Uh, you take off the two bolts on each side, and usually towards the front there's a bracket that it's uh, mounted to, and I'm going to go ahead and remove those two because it looks like that's the front bracket of this thing. Removed the front mounting bolts and the transmission's starting to drop right out of there. So let's keep jacking it up see if it just continues to drop out of there. There's a spring on this side you're gonna wanna take off right there. You can just bend that little lever forward and should be able to pull that spring out of there if you're feeling strong. Ah. I'll have to get a better angle. I'm just going to grab a pair of pliers here. Get a lot better grip on the end of that spring to just pull it out of there. Got that spring off and the next thing I need to remove is that little cotter pin there. Whoops. I think if I can figure out how to get that belt off, um, that's the last thing holding this transmission in place. So on a lot of models, if you set the, um, the parking brake here, oops, whoa, forgot we're on that jack. You want to set the parking brake because that will loosen up the drive belt for you. So in retrospect here, <clears throat> it may have been a better idea to take that belt off before I lowered the transmission from the frame because now it's kind of bound up in there but if you just pull it you can get a little slack in it and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to work it off there I'm gonna have to put the camera down to do that I was finally able to work that belt off of there so um, I think this transmission is ready to come out 
stand back. Dang it. That jack's in my way. I can't just roll it out of there. I'll have to reposition that jack or have someone hold this up for me while I roll out the tranny. I'm just going to put a jack underneath the deck. Eventually the lawnmower will start to lift, I think. Yeah, I check that out. Ta-da! There goes all my parts. All right. Well, that was the easy part, folks. Um, and remember, we're in this together, so let's take a look at this transmission. Looks like there's a little oil reservoir on that side. And uh, plug there. Yeah, pretty straightforward. That's what the transaxle that looks like, or I call it a transmission, but they call it a transaxle. Look at that beauty. Thank you, Hydro Gear. You guys do excellent work. So when you get a whole transmission like this from Hydro Gear, um, this cap is what's on the tank here. They call that an expansion tank. And they say in the directions, you have to first thing you do, pull that cap and put this black one on. That's the breather cap. And they're attached to each other when they come to you new because it's pre-filled with oil. So we're ready to swap the fan here and then we're gonna go on. Let's do it. So three, five, sixteenths and that comes off and we put her on here. So these are self-tapping screws so just keep that in mind and apply pressure when you're screwing them in. So I also had to take off the back bracket here and the neutral pull lever just comes out with a pin and it goes there. <laughs> I didn't know you were filming. <laughs> well, this front bracket's lined up, and I believe those bolts there are also self-tapping bolts. And if I remember right, the spring goes there. And that rod goes somewhere. I'll try these vice grips to get this damn spring into place. One wheel on, both wheels on, and it burns rubber now. 